As chosen ones, you walk a path that is sacred and unique, guided by a divine purpose that sets you apart from the rest. You are not just ordinary individuals, you are handpicked by a higher power to fulfill a mission that only you can accomplish. Every step you take is orchestrated by the universe, every challenge you face is a test of your strength, and every victory you achieve is a testament to your divine connection. In your everyday life, you may encounter situations that seem ordinary, but in reality, they are profound moments of spiritual significance. The conversations you have, the people you meet, and the experiences you go through are all part of a greater plan, woven together by the threads of destiny. As a chosen one, you are constantly receiving divine instructions, subtle signs, and inner guidance that lead you towards your higher purpose. However, with this sacred path comes great responsibility. There are certain truths, secrets, and insights that are revealed to you as a chosen one, but these are not meant to be shared with the world. These are sacred revelations that are entrusted to you by the divine, meant to be guarded with the utmost care. Revealing them could not only disrupt your spiritual journey, but could also hinder the fulfillment of your divine mission. In this episode, we will explore the seven things that chosen ones must never reveal. These are the secrets that are entrusted to you as God's right hand, and keeping them guarded is essential for your spiritual growth and the fulfillment of your purpose. But before we dive into these, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with the number 77 to send a signal to the universe that you are in alignment with your higher calling. And don't forget, you can play this video on repeat, even in the background, to channel the energy of this message into your life and amplify its power. Chapter 1. The Depth of Your Spiritual Insight As a chosen one, the universe has gifted you with spiritual insights that transcend the ordinary understanding of the world. These insights are not merely intellectual knowledge, but are profound revelations that touch the core of your being. They allow you to perceive the true nature of reality, to see beyond the physical realm and into the spiritual dimensions that govern all existence. You can understand the hidden forces at play, recognize the spiritual significance behind everyday events, and discern the true intentions behind the actions of others. This deep spiritual insight is a precious gift, but it is also a responsibility that must be handled with great care. One of the key aspects of being a chosen one is the ability to see the world through a different lens. While others may be caught up in the superficial aspects of life, such as material wealth, social status, and external appearances, you are able to see through these illusions. You understand that true fulfillment comes not from external achievements, but from spiritual growth and alignment with your higher purpose. This understanding sets you apart from the crowd and gives you a unique perspective on life. However, this deep understanding is not something that should be shared with everyone. When you reveal the full extent of your spiritual insight, you expose yourself to the risk of being misunderstood. The world is filled with people who are still asleep, unaware of the spiritual realm that governs their lives. They are not yet capable of grasping the depth of your insights, and attempting to share these with them can lead to confusion, skepticism, or even hostility. In a world where the majority of people are still focused on the material aspects of life, your spiritual insights may be seen as irrelevant or even threatening. You may find that people dismiss your words, mock your beliefs, or distance themselves from you because they are not ready to understand the truths you hold. Moreover, your spiritual insights are not just for you, they are a part of your divine mission. These insights are given to you for a purpose, to guide you on your path and to help you fulfill your role as a chosen one. By revealing these insights prematurely, you may disrupt the divine timing and the unfolding of your mission. There is a reason why certain truths are revealed to you at specific moments in your journey, and it is important to trust this divine timing. Sharing these insights with those who are not ready to receive them can also lead to unnecessary complications in your life, including conflict, doubt, and the potential loss of important relationships. It is essential to keep your spiritual insights close to your heart. Use them to guide your actions, inform your decisions, 
and strengthen your connection with the divine. Share them only with those who are ready to receive them, and even then, do so with caution. Remember that not everyone is on the same level of spiritual awareness, and it is not your responsibility to awaken them. Your mission is to walk your path with integrity, guided by the wisdom that has been entrusted to you. There is great power in silence, and sometimes the most profound truths are those that are never spoken aloud. Chapter 2 – The Full Extent of Your Divine Mission As a chosen one, your life is guided by a divine mission that is uniquely yours. This mission is not always clear from the outset, it may unfold gradually, revealing itself in layers as you grow spiritually and move further along your path. The mission you carry is profound, often involving the transformation of not just your life, but also the lives of those around you. It might even extend to influencing larger communities, societies, or the world itself. However, the full extent of this mission is something that must be kept close to your heart, for it is not meant to be fully understood or shared with others until the time is right. Your divine mission is intricately linked to your personal experiences, your challenges, and your victories. It is shaped by the trials you face, the lessons you learn, and the wisdom you gain along the way. Each experience, whether it feels positive or negative at the moment, is a crucial piece of the puzzle that forms your mission. But as this mission unfolds, there is a temptation to share it with those around you to seek validation, support, or simply to express the depth of your calling. While it is natural to want to share your journey, it is vital to understand that not everyone is ready to comprehend the magnitude of your mission. The danger in revealing your divine mission too early or to the wrong people lies in the potential for misunderstanding and misinterpretation. People who do not share your level of spiritual awareness may project their own fears, doubts, and insecurities onto your mission. They may question your path, undermine your confidence, or try to dissuade you from pursuing your calling. This can create unnecessary obstacles on your journey, filling you with doubt and confusion. The negativity and skepticism of others can also dilute the purity of your mission, making it harder for you to stay true to your path. Furthermore, your mission is not only about what you do in the world, but also about who you become in the process. It is about your spiritual growth, your connection with the divine, and your ability to navigate the complexities of life with grace and wisdom. By revealing your mission too soon, you risk putting yourself under undue pressure to perform or achieve certain outcomes. This can lead to burnout, spiritual exhaustion, and a sense of failure if things do not go as planned. It is important to remember that your mission is a journey, not a destination, and it should be approached with patience, humility, and trust in the divine timing. Your mission may also involve working with others, but not everyone who crosses your path is meant to be part of your journey. Some people are there to challenge you, to test your resolve, or to help you grow in unexpected ways. By revealing your mission to them, you may inadvertently attract those who are not aligned with your purpose, leading to distractions, conflicts, or even betrayals. It is essential to discern who is truly meant to walk alongside you and who is simply a temporary presence in your life. To safeguard your mission, it is crucial to cultivate inner strength and resilience. Trust in the divine guidance you receive and keep your mission as a sacred, private part of your life. Share it only with those who are truly aligned with your purpose and who can support you without judgment or doubt. Remember, your mission is a gift from the divine, and it is your responsibility to protect it until the time comes for it to fully manifest in the world. However, the challenges of maintaining the secrecy of your mission can sometimes weigh heavily on your soul. You may find yourself feeling isolated, burdened by the knowledge and responsibilities you carry. It is during these moments that you must lean even more into your spiritual practices and the divine guidance that has been your compass. Silence can be both a shield and a test, it protects you, but it also requires you to confront your own doubts and insecurities without the comfort of external validation. This internal struggle is part of the refining process that strengthens you as a chosen one. 
By confronting and overcoming the urge to reveal your mission prematurely, you develop a deeper sense of inner peace and self-assurance. You learn to rely on your connection with the divine rather than on the opinions or approval of others. This spiritual maturity is essential, as it prepares you for the greater challenges that lie ahead. Moreover, as you continue on your path, you may begin to notice that the universe provides subtle confirmations of your mission. These signs can come in many forms, unexpected encounters, serendipitous events, or even moments of profound clarity during meditation. These confirmations serve as gentle reminders that you are on the right path, even if the full picture is not yet clear. They are the universe's way of encouraging you to stay the course, to trust in the divine plan, and to have faith in the timing of your mission's unfolding. In time, as your mission becomes clearer and your understanding deepens, you may be called upon to share parts of your journey with others. However, this should be done with great care and discernment. Sharing should not come from a place of seeking validation, but from a place of service, to uplift, to inspire, and to guide others who may be on similar paths. Even then, it is important to remember that not everyone will understand or appreciate the depth of your mission. Some may be inspired, others may be skeptical, and a few may even be hostile. This is why it is essential to always protect the core of your mission, revealing only what is necessary and keeping the rest within the sacred space of your heart. Another aspect to consider is the dynamic nature of your mission. As you evolve spiritually, your mission may also evolve. What you once thought was the entirety of your purpose may turn out to be just the beginning. The divine may reveal new layers, new directions, or even entirely new missions as you grow. This fluidity is a natural part of the spiritual journey, and it requires flexibility, openness, and a willingness to let go of old identities and attachments. Holding your mission loosely, with trust in the divine plan, allows you to flow with these changes rather than resist them. Finally, it is important to remember that your mission is not just about the end goal, it is also about the impact you have along the way. Every interaction, every choice, every moment of integrity and compassion contributes to the fulfillment of your mission. Sometimes, the smallest acts of kindness or the quietest moments of truth can have the most profound ripple effects. As a chosen one, you are constantly being guided and used as an instrument of the divine, even in ways that you may not fully understand. In conclusion, the full extent of your divine mission is something that may remain a mystery even to you at times. It is a journey of discovery, of growth, and of deepening your connection with the divine. It requires patience, trust, and an unwavering commitment to staying true to your path, even when the way forward is unclear. By keeping your mission close to your heart and protecting it from the distractions and doubts of the world, you honor the sacredness of your calling and allow it to unfold in its own perfect time. Chapter 3. Your Spiritual Practices and Rituals As a chosen one, your spiritual practices and rituals are deeply personal and powerful. These practices are not just routines you perform, they are sacred acts that connect you directly with the divine. Whether it is through prayer, meditation, visualization, or other spiritual disciplines, these rituals are the foundation of your spiritual journey. They ground you, nourish your soul, and keep you aligned with your higher purpose. However, the specific details of these practices should remain private, as they are intimate expressions of your relationship with the divine. Your spiritual practices are designed to help you tap into higher realms, to access divine wisdom, and to draw upon the strength and guidance that is always available to you. These rituals create a sacred space where you can commune with the divine, seek answers to your deepest questions, and find peace in the midst of chaos. The energy generated through these practices is powerful and transformative, and it should be treated with the utmost respect. When you reveal your spiritual practices to others, you expose yourself to potential judgment, misunderstanding, and even ridicule. Not everyone understands the significance of these rituals, and some may view them as strange, unnecessary, or even superstitious. 
This can lead to negative energy being directed towards you, which can disrupt your spiritual focus and diminish the effectiveness of your practices. Moreover, sharing these details can make you vulnerable to spiritual interference, as others may consciously or unconsciously project their own energies onto your rituals. There is also a deeper reason to keep your spiritual practices private. These rituals are not just about connecting with the divine, they are also about refining and purifying your own energy. They help you to release negativity, to elevate your consciousness, and to align with your soul's true purpose. When you keep these practices to yourself, you maintain a clear and focused spiritual path, free from outside influences. This allows you to cultivate a stronger, more intimate relationship with the divine, one that is based on trust, devotion, and personal experience. Furthermore, your spiritual practices are often tailored specifically to your unique path as a chosen one. The rituals that work for you may not resonate with others, and what is beneficial for you might not be appropriate for someone else. By keeping your practices private, you avoid the temptation to impose your methods on others or to seek validation for your spiritual choices. This ensures that your practices remain authentic and aligned with your individual journey. It is important to protect the sanctity of your spiritual rituals by maintaining an aura of mystery and reverence around them. Share only what is necessary, and do so with discernment. Allow your practices to remain a sacred dialogue between you and the Divine, a personal space where you can grow and evolve without external interference. By doing so, you preserve the purity and potency of your spiritual journey, allowing it to unfold in alignment with the Divine Plan. In addition, it's essential to understand that spiritual practices and rituals are not static. As you evolve on your spiritual path, so too may your practices. What once served you well may need to be adapted or even replaced as you deepen your connection with the Divine. This evolution is a natural part of your spiritual growth, and it requires you to remain open and responsive to the guidance you receive. By keeping your practices private, you allow yourself the freedom to experiment, to make changes, and to explore new dimensions of your spirituality without the pressure of external opinions or expectations. Your spiritual practices are a direct reflection of your inner world. They are shaped by your personal experiences, your spiritual insights, and your unique relationship with the Divine. As such, they are an extension of your identity as a chosen one. By keeping these practices private, you protect the integrity of your spiritual journey and ensure that your rituals remain a true expression of your soul's path. Moreover, the energy you generate through your spiritual practices is precious. It is the fuel that powers your journey, the light that guides you through the darkness, and the strength that sustains you in times of difficulty. By keeping your practices private, you ensure that this energy remains focused and undiluted. You create a protective shield around your spiritual life, allowing you to navigate the challenges of the world with greater clarity, confidence, and resilience. There is also a sacredness to privacy in spiritual matters. The Divine often communicates with you in whispers, in the quiet moments of meditation, in the stillness of your heart. These are intimate encounters, meant to be cherished and held close. By keeping your spiritual practices private, you honor the sacredness of these moments. You create a sanctuary within yourself, a place where the Divine can speak to you freely, without the interference of external noise or distractions. Furthermore, your spiritual practices are not just about personal growth, they are also a way of contributing to the greater good. The energy you generate through your rituals has a ripple effect, influencing not just your life, but also the lives of those around you. By keeping your practices private, you protect the purity of this energy, allowing it to flow out into the world in its highest form. This is how you fulfill your role as a chosen one, not just through your actions, but through the spiritual energy you contribute to the collective consciousness. In conclusion, your spiritual practices and rituals are a vital part of your journey as a chosen one. 
They are the tools that help you connect with the divine, the anchors that keep you grounded, and the pathways that lead you to your higher purpose. By keeping these practices private, you protect their sacredness, maintain your spiritual focus, and ensure that your journey remains authentic and aligned with the divine plan. Your spiritual practices are a gift, a sacred dialogue between you and the divine, and they deserve to be treated with the utmost respect and reverence. Chapter 4 are The Source of Your Inner Strength Chosen ones possess an inner strength that is both profound and unshakable. This strength is not merely physical or mental, it is a deep spiritual resilience that allows you to face life's challenges with courage and grace. It is the wellspring of your power, the force that drives you forward even in the face of adversity. This inner strength is a gift from the divine, a reflection of your connection with a higher power. However, the source of this strength is something that must remain private, for it is intimately tied to your spiritual identity and purpose. Your inner strength is born from your relationship with the divine. It is nurtured through your spiritual practices, your faith and your unwavering commitment to your mission. This strength allows you to persevere through difficulties, to remain calm in the midst of chaos, and to find hope even in the darkest of times. It is a quiet, steady force that sustains you when the world around you seems to be falling apart. However, this strength is also a vulnerable part of your being, and it must be protected from those who might seek to undermine it. When you reveal the source of your inner strength to others, you risk exposing yourself to negative influences. People may try to test your strength, to challenge your beliefs, or to draw upon your energy for their own purposes. This can drain you of your vitality and weaken your connection with the divine. Additionally, sharing the source of your strength may lead others to attempt to replicate your path, which can be dangerous if they are not spiritually prepared for the journey. Each person's path is unique, and what works for you may not work for someone else. There is also the risk of spiritual envy. When others see the strength and resilience you possess, they may feel envious or threatened. This can lead to negative energy being directed towards you, which can create obstacles on your path. By keeping the source of your strength private, you protect yourself from these harmful influences and ensure that your spiritual energy remains pure and undisturbed. Your inner strength is a sacred gift, one that should be cherished and guarded. It is the foundation of your spiritual journey, the force that allows you to fulfill your mission as a chosen one. Protect this strength by keeping its source private, sharing it only with those who have earned your trust and who can support you without judgment or envy. Remember that your strength is a reflection of your divine connection, and it is through this connection that you will continue to grow and thrive on your spiritual path. Furthermore, this inner strength is often misunderstood by those who are not on a similar spiritual path. People may mistake your calmness for indifference, your resilience for stubbornness, or your faith for naivety. These misconceptions can lead to misunderstandings and conflicts, especially when others try to impose their limited perspectives onto your experiences. By keeping the source of your strength private, you avoid these pitfalls and preserve the sanctity of your spiritual journey. It's also important to recognize that your inner strength is not a constant, unchanging force. Like all aspects of your spiritual life, it evolves and grows as you progress on your journey. There will be times when you feel invincible, and other times when your strength seems to wane. This ebb and flow are natural and necessary for your growth. By keeping the source of your strength private, you allow yourself the space to experience this process without the added pressure of external expectations or judgments. Your inner strength is closely tied to your sense of self-worth and identity as a chosen one. It is a reflection of the divine light within you, the part of you that is eternal and unbreakable. This strength is what allows you to stand firm in your truth, even when the world around you is in turmoil. It is what enables you to rise above challenges, to heal from wounds, and to keep moving forward on your path. By keeping the source of this strength private, you protect the core of your being from external influences that. Chapter 5. The Power of Your Intuition 
As a chosen one, your intuition is one of your greatest gifts. It is a divine compass that guides you through the complexities of life, helping you make decisions that are aligned with your higher purpose. This intuitive wisdom is not something that can be easily explained or rationalized, it is a deep inner knowing that comes from your connection with the divine. However, the power of your intuition is something that should be guarded carefully, as it is a sacred tool meant to guide your personal journey. Your intuition is like a sixth sense, an inner voice that whispers the truth even when it is not immediately apparent. It is what allows you to see beyond the surface of situations, to understand the deeper meaning behind events, and to sense the intentions of others. This intuitive insight is invaluable, as it helps you navigate the challenges of life with clarity and confidence. However, it is essential to recognize that not everyone will understand or appreciate the power of your intuition. When you openly share your intuitive insights with others, you may encounter skepticism, disbelief, or even hostility. People who are not attuned to their own intuition may dismiss your insights as irrational or unfounded. They may question your judgment or accuse you of being overly sensitive or paranoid. This can lead to unnecessary conflicts and misunderstandings, and it can also cause you to doubt your own intuitive abilities. Moreover, revealing your intuitive insights can make you vulnerable to manipulation. There are those who may try to exploit your intuition for their own gain, seeking to influence your decisions or steer you in a direction that serves their interests rather than your own. By keeping the full extent of your intuitive abilities private, you protect yourself from such manipulation and ensure that your intuition remains a pure and reliable guide on your spiritual journey. Your intuition is also deeply personal. It is a reflection of your unique spiritual path and the lessons you are meant to learn in this lifetime. The insights you receive through your intuition are tailored specifically for you, and they may not be applicable or understandable to others. By keeping your intuitive experiences private, you honor the sacredness of your journey and avoid the temptation to seek external validation for your intuitive insights. Furthermore, your intuition is not just a tool for decision-making, it is also a means of connecting with the divine. Through your intuition, you receive guidance, inspiration, and divine messages that are meant to support you on your path. These messages are often subtle, coming in the form of gut feelings, dreams, or sudden flashes of insight. By keeping your intuition private, you create a safe space where these divine messages can be received and processed without interference or distortion. It's also important to recognize that intuition is something that develops and strengthens over time. As you grow spiritually, your intuitive abilities will become more refined and accurate. However, this growth requires a level of trust and confidence in your own inner knowing. By keeping your intuition private, you allow yourself the freedom to explore and develop this gift without the pressure of external scrutiny or judgment. In addition, your intuition is closely linked to your emotional and energetic state. When you are calm, centered, and in alignment with your higher self, your intuition flows naturally and effortlessly. However, when you are stressed, anxious, or overwhelmed, your intuitive abilities can become clouded or blocked. By keeping your intuition private, you protect yourself from the emotional and energetic influences of others, allowing you to maintain a clear and open channel to the divine. Finally, your intuition is a key part of your identity as a chosen one. It is what sets you apart from others and gives you the ability to navigate life's challenges with grace and wisdom. By keeping the power of your intuition private, you safeguard this precious gift and ensure that it remains a reliable and trustworthy guide on your spiritual journey. In conclusion, your intuition is a powerful and sacred tool that guides you on your path as a chosen one. It is a divine gift that allows you to see beyond the surface of life, to understand the deeper truths, and to make decisions that are aligned with your higher purpose. By keeping your intuitive abilities private, you protect the sanctity of your journey, avoid unnecessary conflicts, and allow your intuition to develop and strengthen in alignment with your spiritual growth. Chapter 6. The Sacredness of Your Relationships 
As a chosen one, the relationships you form are not just connections with other people, they are sacred bonds that play a crucial role in your spiritual journey. Each person who enters your life is there for a reason, whether to support you, challenge you, or help you grow in some way. However, the true depth and significance of these relationships are often not fully understood by others, and it is essential to protect the sacredness of these connections by keeping certain aspects of them private. Your relationships are mirrors that reflect your inner world, revealing aspects of yourself that you may not be fully aware of. Through your interactions with others, you gain insights into your own strengths, weaknesses, fears, and desires. These relationships provide you with opportunities for growth and healing, as well as challenges that test your resilience and commitment to your spiritual path. However, the lessons and insights you gain from these relationships are deeply personal and should be kept private to preserve their sacredness. When you openly discuss the details of your relationships with others, you risk exposing these sacred connections to external influences that can distort or disrupt them. People may offer unsolicited advice, project their own experiences onto your situation, or judge the choices you make in your relationships. This can create confusion, doubt, and conflict, making it more difficult for you to navigate your relationships with clarity and authenticity. Moreover, sharing the intimate details of your relationships can lead to misunderstandings and misinterpretations. Others may not fully grasp the spiritual significance of your connections, and they may view your relationships through a more conventional or superficial lens. This can result in judgments or criticisms that are not aligned with your spiritual path, causing you to question the validity of your own experiences. Your relationships as a chosen one are often characterized by a deep spiritual connection, a sense of purpose, and a shared mission. These relationships are not always easy, as they may involve intense emotions, karmic lessons, and the need for mutual growth and transformation. By keeping the sacred aspects of your relationships private, you protect these connections from the interference of external opinions and ensure that they remain focused on their true purpose. In addition, your relationships may involve certain spiritual practices or rituals that are meant to strengthen your bond and support your joint mission. These practices are sacred and should be treated with the utmost respect. By keeping them private, you honor the sacredness of your relationship and ensure that these practices remain a pure and powerful source of spiritual energy. It's also important to recognize that not everyone in your life is meant to understand or participate in your spiritual journey. Some people may be in your life for a short time, while others may be long-term companions on your path. By keeping the sacred aspects of your relationships private, you allow each connection to unfold in its own time and in alignment with its divine purpose. You also protect yourself from the potential pain of having a sacred connection misunderstood or devalued by others. Furthermore, the privacy of your relationships allows you to maintain a sense of mystery and reverence around these connections. When you keep the sacred aspects of your relationships to yourself, you create a protective shield around them, allowing them to grow and evolve without external interference. This privacy also allows you to maintain a deeper, more intimate connection with the divine, as your relationships become a reflection of your spiritual journey. In conclusion, the relationships you form as a chosen one are sacred and play a vital role in your spiritual journey. They are opportunities for growth, healing, and mutual transformation, and they should be treated with the utmost respect and reverence. By keeping the sacred aspects of your relationships private, you protect these connections from external influences, preserve their spiritual significance, and ensure that they remain aligned with your higher purpose. Your relationships are a reflection of your inner world, and by honoring their sacredness, you honor your own spiritual journey. Chapter 7 – The Unseen Forces That Guide You As a chosen one, you are never truly alone on your spiritual journey. Unseen forces are always at work, guiding you, protecting you, and helping you fulfill your divine mission. These forces may come in the form of guardian angels, spirit guides, ancestors, or other benevolent beings who have a vested interest in your success. 
While their presence is a source of great comfort and support, it is essential to keep your connection with these unseen forces private, as it is a deeply personal and sacred aspect of your journey. The guidance you receive from these unseen forces often comes in subtle ways, through signs, synchronicities, dreams, or intuitive nudges. These messages are tailored specifically for you, providing you with the insights and direction you need to navigate your path. However, the nature of this guidance is often difficult to explain to others, and sharing it openly can lead to misunderstanding or skepticism. When you reveal the guidance you receive from unseen forces, you risk exposing this sacred connection to negative influences. People may question the validity of your experiences, dismiss them as mere coincidences, or even ridicule your beliefs. This can create doubt and confusion, weakening your trust in the guidance you receive and making it harder for you to follow your spiritual path with confidence. Moreover, sharing the details of your connection with unseen forces can make you vulnerable to spiritual interference. There are those who may attempt to exploit your connection for their own purposes, seeking to influence the guidance you receive or to manipulate your spiritual journey. By keeping your connection with unseen forces private, you protect yourself from such interference and ensure that your guidance remains pure and untainted. Your relationship with unseen forces is a sacred bond that has been established over many lifetimes. These beings have been with you through various incarnations, supporting your growth and helping you fulfill your soul's purpose. By keeping this relationship private, you honor the sacredness of this bond and allow it to remain a source of strength and guidance on your journey. It's also important to recognize that the guidance you receive from unseen forces is meant for you alone. While it may be tempting to share these insights with others, especially when they seem relevant to their situations, it's crucial to remember that this guidance is specifically tailored to your path. What is beneficial for you may not be appropriate for someone else, and sharing it could lead to unintended consequences. Furthermore, the presence of unseen forces in your life is a reminder of your connection to the divine. These beings are not just guides, they are also protectors who watch over you and ensure that you are safe from harm. By keeping your connection with them private, you maintain a direct line of communication with the divine, allowing you to receive guidance and protection without interference from external forces. In addition, your relationship with unseen forces is a testament to your spiritual evolution. These beings are drawn to you because of the light you carry and the work you are here to do. By keeping this relationship private, you allow yourself to deepen this connection, to receive more profound guidance, and to continue your spiritual growth without the distractions of external opinions or judgments. Finally, the guidance you receive from unseen forces is a reflection of your unique spiritual path. It is a sign that you are on the right track, that you are fulfilling your purpose, and that you are supported by the divine in all that you do. By keeping this guidance private, you protect the sanctity of your journey and ensure that you remain aligned with your higher purpose. In conclusion, the unseen forces that guide you are a vital part of your journey as a chosen one. They provide you with the guidance, protection, and support you need to fulfill your divine mission. By keeping your connection with these forces private, you honor the sacredness of this bond, protect yourself from negative influences, and ensure that your spiritual journey remains pure and aligned with the divine plan. Your relationship with these unseen forces is a gift, a testament to your spiritual evolution, and a source of strength that will carry you through all the challenges and triumphs of your journey as a chosen one. As we conclude this episode, remember that as a chosen one, your journey is a sacred one. The experiences, insights, and connections you form along the way are deeply personal and uniquely yours. They are meant to guide you, shape you, and help you fulfill your divine purpose. By keeping certain aspects of your journey private, you protect the sanctity of your path and ensure that your spiritual growth remains pure and undisturbed by external influences. Your intuition, relationships, and connection with unseen forces are powerful tools that should be guarded carefully. They are the keys to your spiritual evolution, 
guiding you through life's challenges and helping you stay aligned with your higher purpose. By embracing the sacred privacy of these aspects, you create a space where your divine gifts can flourish without interference. As you continue on your journey, trust in the wisdom of your intuition, honor the sacredness of your relationships, and cherish the guidance of the unseen forces that walk with you. These are the gifts that set you apart as a chosen one, and they are the very essence of what makes your path so special. Before we go, remember to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment with 77 foot to send a signal to the universe that you are embracing your sacred journey. Play this video on repeat, even in the background, to channel the energy and reinforce the messages we've shared today. Stay true to your path, protect the sanctity of your journey, and know that you are never alone. You are a chosen one, and your light shines brightly in this world, guiding others and fulfilling the divine purpose that you were born to achieve. Until next time, keep your faith strong and your heart open. The universe is always with you.